हरि ओम इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट्स वट आर यूनिट्स सो वेन आई से यूनिट्स यू विल बी नोइंग और यू विल बी thinking of something called a meter kilograms or maybe say of meter per second newton and all those things because you are familiar with these things in the lower classes ampere for the current and uh, voltage for the emf like that many but let us identify what are units basically so when you measure mass If you want to measure the mass of an object, you will be taking a standardized quantity called kilogram. So you will be measuring that mass in terms of kilograms, just like ten kilograms, hundred kilograms, like that. If I measure the length of something. What are we going to be using? Scale, meter scale, or centimeter scale. So, like that, depending upon different quantities, you will be using a standardized reference for measuring it. That reference standard used for measuring a physical quantity is called unit. Okay. So, as we have, as we have seen three different types of quantities, therefore, there are three different types of units are also possible. One is base units or fundamental units, units which are used to measure fundamental quantities or base quantities. Then comes next derived units, base units, units used to measure base quantities, or reference standard used for measuring base quantities. Then second one, derived units. Reference standard used for measuring derived quantities. Then comes third one. We got two supplementary quantities. Supplementary units. So these are the three different types of units we have based on the. Different types of quantities to be measured. Okay, now supplementary units, as we have only two quantities there, basically they are measured in, for example, for uh, angles, we take it radian. For plane angle. For plane angle, radian is the unit, and step radian, step radian is for solid angle. All right, that you have to keep in mind. I saw it too quite recently, but when we come for the base units. Or fundamental units. What comes there? Only seven quantities there: mass, length, time, and all that. Now you can use different reference standards. For example, for measuring mass, you can use grams. Measuring length, you can use uh, centimeter. Measuring time, you can have seconds. And That category we say centimeter gram second. 
taken as a system of unit called Singer system. And another we can have meter or m ks system. That is meter kilogram second. Another system. And there is another system, British system we call food pound seconds FPS system. These are classified systems, of course. But for measuring length, we got many other local units called. For example, mora in our local. Then PD, that is this length is called one PD. So this is used in measuring the length of uh, gold chains and all. Goldsmiths are using this one, and they, they standardize this one as three inches as one PD. Like that, foot, British system and foot is one. One foot. Because length of the food for different people will be different. Small food and large. Therefore, there are also some standardized standardization is given. Twelve inches means one food. Like that, various units we have depending upon the place and the countries. So, as we have to deal with internationally. As the round the globe is now a single village, we have to interact with other countries, other peoples. Though they also have their own local units and all, so interaction will be difficult. So, a international international system of units is devised for the purpose and. Uh, Around the globe, all the countries are using that international system of units for interaction or the measurements. That is denoted by SI system. In French, system internationally de units. That is sorted as SI. In English, we can say international system of units. And this system we are using throughout our study in physics hereafter. Everything that you measure is expressed in SI unit of that quantity. So when you take SI units for base quantities, you must be by hearting those quantities for further. Calculation or measurements and all. Base quantity is one mass. SI unit is kilogram. Very familiar. Length we use meter. Meters. Then time. Base unit is second in all the systems. Here also the seconds. Then electric current, electric current, ampere, short as E, ampere. Then temperature, temperature, Kelvin, Lord Kelvin drives the unit, and that is called absolute scale or Kelvin scale. SI system and how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 to 1 as uh, sorry, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, 6 to 1 as Luminous intensity 
luminous intensity for candela C D we can say candela then seventh one amount of substance amount of substance that is mole these are the SI units of seven fundamental quantities or these are the seven fundamental units you can see now Based on these units, you can go for the derived units. For example, let us take one unit meter per second, meter per second, length by time. So this unit is representing speed or velocity. Like that, Newton represented by N, familiar, the quantity is what? Force. Joule is a unit of energy and also work. What can energy are considered with joules? Like that, you can have many units or derived units as there are many derived quantities you have to study. Okay? So, these are the points relating to the units. Now, there comes a very interesting question that what are the main characteristics of fundamental units? Or basically, what are the main characteristics of a good unit? That is fundamental or derived whatever it is. This is very important because that enables us to identify which unit is to be selected for measuring a particular point. So there are many points. I'll list out one by one. A good unit is well defined, means it must be clearly defined what one meter is or what one kilogram is. Then, universally accepted, all around the globe that must be accepted, easily reproducible. Once it is lost, it must be traded again without any discrepancy. That comes. It should not vary with time and place. Time and place. And it should not be too large or too small compared with the quantity to be measured. Okay? The last statement, too small or too large, that leads us to select what scale, which scale is to be used for measuring which quantity. For example, if I want to measure the length of this room, your classroom, Will I be taking a centimeter scale or a meter scale? Definitely meter scale. No doubt. But for measuring the length of your notebook, the size is a little small. So you take a centimeter scale. But for measuring length of a road, you will be representing that in kilometers only. Like that. Even larger lengths will be depending on units like light years. 
galactic distance parsec parsecend is the largest unit for measuring the length okay so what we have understood for this one castles of good unit well defined universally accepted easily reproducible then accurately defined okay then what else is coming there should not vary with time and place and should should not be too large or too small compared to the quantity to be measured these are the main points to be kept in your mind relating to a unit that's all thank you